Now let's move on to palpation of the lumbar spine. So Lindsay, I'm gonna have you turn. Perfect, okay. And you're just gonna start off with some general landmarks. Is it okay if we pull the shirt up just a little bit? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna pull it up to about there. Is that good? Yep. Okay, good. So starting off, you know, if we just place your hands at the top of the iliac crest, you can identify those. And then you can see the paraspinal musculature here. And in a standing position, um, this will be more active than in a prone position. So you know, palpate the paraspinal muscles coming down base of the sacrum. In the center here, you can start to feel where all the SPs are, the spinous processes, you know, palpating them down. And then if you come down and you find those two little divots right here. So these are the PSIS, the posterior superior iliac spines of the pelvis. And so this is part of the sacroiliac joint. And since we are in this position, uh, Lindsay, will let's do a step test. So basically you're gonna march in place slowly and I'll tell you when to go. Try to bring the knees up to about 90 degrees, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's start with the left leg. So bring that knee up. So this side here, yeah. Okay, and then do the right side, bring it down. Good, and then back down. Let's do the left again. So as you can see here, my thumb on the left isn't moving that much and let's go to the right again, one more. But you can see on the right, it actually goes inferiorly. Good, and stop there for a sec. So if you're looking at my thumbs, this one here potentially might be restricted or hypermobile, whereas the PSIS on this side moves inferiorly downwards as Lindsay hikes that hip up. So that would show us a, a good movement in the sacroiliac joint. Okay, now let's palpate the lumbar spine in a prone position. So Lindsay, is it okay if I pull the shirt up again? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna bring this up. There we go. Okay, so general palpation, if you follow the ribs around, the last ribs, it's gonna bring you to T12. And then you'll feel a longer uh, spinous process, which would be L1. And we can palpate those spinous processes as we go down. There's two and three, there's four, and five and a little lower would be the base of the sacrum right here. Once again, we have the tops of the iliac uh, uh, crest, which I should mention the QL muscles and the latissimus dorsi attach into those. And then if we go just off the SPs into the sides here, they're almost like a trough, you've got the paraspinal muscles. So you can palpate those paraspinal muscles as you go down, checking both sides. There we go. And then once again, back to the sacral base and noting the height of the iliac crest. And that is a general palpation in a prone position. Change is gonna come.